Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to look at a new VS Code extension called VS Code Debug Visualizer. So this helps you visualize when you are um, in the process of debugging. So first of all, let's thank the developer who has made it uh, possible and made it open source. It's uh, Henning Dietrich. So if you if you use this uh, plugin and um, if you are happy with that or if you want to help support the developer, please go and sponsor the developer. There is a sponsor page here, so you can do that very easily if you are benefited from this plugin. So let's go ahead and see how we can start using this extension. So first open your VS Code. Um, you can either go here and then click the marketplace and from there you can install it when you go here and click install it will open the vs code so if you do not want to do that you can go to the extension and then type debug visualizer and you would get that particular debug visualizer so i've already installed it that's why you can see so far you could see that around 17,000 downloads are happening uh, so uh, once you do that thing you can have a look at uh, the demo and uh, it's the same same page that you see here it is the same thing so you have to open this extension and successfully install it once you install it you would see the uninstall or disable button which means your installation has been successfully done and also you can see a lot of uh, programming language support so you can see uh, javascript support python support go support and you can also have a look at uh, the visualizer um, the, the playground here uh, so let's just click the playground here and have a look at what kind of visualizations are supported so it's a uh, first of all there's a plotly visualizer then you have graph visualizer and even for graph you have different types of graph visualizer table visualizer tree visualizer so in this video what we are going to do particularly is we are trying to look at a python code that is also given uh, by the developer uh, uh, in the demos and we are going to see how uh, you can utilize it for your own project or maybe you want to teach it to something or someone uh, how you can do that so first let's get started uh, once you have successfully installed the extension so let's go to the demos page and then let's copy the code and paste it go to python so we, python is something that i'm familiar with this in this list so let's copy python code so you can copy this entire code and you can paste it so basically what this code does is um, so it's going to help you with sorting and uh, that sorting you can visualize how this array sorting happens so before even we uh, look into the code let's quickly get started with uh, how it happens so let's set a breakpoint so i'm going to close this uh, i don't need this so let me close this so let's set a breakpoint i'm setting a breakpoint so when you hover or your mouse in this area you would see this red color thing so that is the place where you can set a breakpoint so you can set a breakpoint anywhere so i'm going to just set a breakpoint here after i set a breakpoint here now i have to use uh, if you are using mac command shift or you can start the visualizer command shift p and then click new view and then inside the visualizer you have to put or uh, what uh, the serialized object so serialized is a file name uh, the object name so once you do that and then start pressing enter so you can see what is happening here so you can start here uh, with this so you can see how the sorting happens click it click it click it you can see how the sorting happens so basically what it is doing is every time this loop is happening so there is one sorting that is happening and that sorting is being displayed here visualized here so this is an excellent tool if you want to teach um, data structures or um, any of these algorithms that are uh, usually taught in university so you can completely see how this change is happening and um, along with that uh, you would be all to also um, uh, see the code and then if you want to debug you can debug like for example let's take this code and then let's say there is something uh, like we uh, we put an error in this code uh, let's say instead of plus one i'm going to put plus two and i'm going to repeat the same process i'm going to say run uh, start debugging and uh, click it so now i'm going to do that and i'm going to start that and we can probably see uh, whether this code works fine so you you've got an assertion error because uh, uh, there is uh, so of, of course uh, we have made an error so that is what being is displayed here so the idea is uh, when you are trying to debug you can actually visualize your data structure or uh, whatever you are trying to visualize and uh, that will help you either in visualizing but uh, i find it more useful um, if you are going to use it for teaching so this is one example so let's also pick another example um, but before we go to that thing so let's see how the code structure is 
so the main the biggest caveat in this thing is currently you have to give a json uh, for a json um, object into uh, whatever you would like to you know uh, visualize so that uh, json uh, should be in the format that is supported in the visualization format so if you see this thing so the json that you give for example in in our case what we did is uh, we did a grid visualizer so if you are looking at a grid visualizer so this is how your json format is so your json format whatever that you are trying to visualize it should match with this format uh, for whatever problem that you are trying to visualize so if it is um, ast uh, 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 abstract syntax tree so in that case you need to have it uh, like this or uh, let's say if you are trying to visualize it in a plotly visualizer so you need to give it like this so the idea is like i said um, it you have to make sure that your json format matches with that um, so first of all uh, what what happens in this current code is that you import json um, because that's what uh, you are trying to create an object so there is a function that the de developer has created that will simply take this array value that simply taking this array value and then it is trying to create something that matches with this grid format so so basically it is going to give you an output the json dumps output if you are printing it so i have uh, printed it here so if you run this code you can actually see um let's let's run this thing go run without debugging so if you see this thing you can actually see that uh, uh, he, this is basically it is in the same format of whatever it is given here so there is a kind and uh, there is a text the column name so it is exactly matching with this format so that is the most important thing if you are trying to use this extension for uh, the code that you have written so you have to have a function a utility function that will try to uh, take something that you are trying to visualize and then it would return a json dump of uh, the format that matches with uh, one of these visualizers so once you do that thing then it is quite simple um, because um, now you have your sorting algorithm this is where your sorting algorithm you have to set a breakpoint somewhere here because this is your sorting algorithm and this is what is going to change every time the code changes and um, you of course call this function so here if you see uh, this function is called and uh, this final output is what you are trying to visualize so i hope uh, this code was slightly uh, helpful in understanding how you can utilize it for your own purpose so let's go ahead and see another code which is instead of an array you can actually visualize a graph let's copy this and then go to our code paste it and save it so um, before we start visualizing let's have a look at it so first of all you can see that it is a graph so let's go here and see how a graph um, format looks like let's search for it okay so this is your graph visualizer so you have got multiple graph visualizer but uh, so we can start with this thing so for a graph visualizer you need to have first of all uh, kind graph true uh, which is what we are seeing here kind graph true the second thing is you need to have node and each node should have an id and a label a node id and a label and then you have to have edges the edges define how the graph structure is going to look like so this particular section of the code if you can see this is a for loop and within the for loop it is taking numbers from 2 to 100 uh, and it is trying to insert into this node so it is trying to do it in the same format that has been given here um, whenever you see this uh, graph so it is trying to do it in the same format of creating um, edges from with this text from 2 to to a node so it's basically trying to create that kind of uh, um, uh, an object json object that will uh, insert this number from 2 to 100 um, basically uh, based on a random approach to say that uh, for which number i want to do this uh, directed uh, node so that is what it is trying to do in this particular section so what we need to do is we need to set our uh, uh, breaking point somewhere here so i am I'm going to set the breaking points here exactly and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to start my debugging and then after that is done i'm going to say con command shift p which will open my which will help me open my debug visualizer so in my case the debug visualizer is on the top but if you do not see you can just search for debug visualizer and then click that and then get the new view so every time you see the debug visualizer what you have to do is you have to find the json object that you are creating so the json object that resembles this part or uh, any for any visualization that you are doing so you have to find that visualize uh, json object name and then you have to give that uh, data 
here and then click enter and then start the debugging process so you can see the nodes getting created or the graph is getting created because um, because every time you run this loop so it is getting created so this is a wonderful way for you to visualize what is happening with this with uh, within this code and also it is a wonderful way for you to understand if something goes wrong so this is not just for debugging but you can also effectively use it for teaching any programming concept especially data structures and algorithms um, to make it easier for students to understand and learn so these are the variety of visualization uh, that are available so uh, the author has kindly uh, put together this page for you to understand about and also take this uh, code and then start building your own so if you want to let's say build a plotly visualizer so then you have to basically take this and then you have to start using it uh, instead of this graph and then uh, you just need to replace this with the kind of value that you want to insert there so that will help you understand uh, how, how this kind of uh, um, uh, visualization is built or the code is um, um, code is running so uh, if if you had uh, seen this code and if you had seen the previous graph code uh, this is kind of a template for you to understand how to approach this extension because a lot of people might see the extension and then they might see the cool animation but they may not know how to use it for their own use case so thanks to uh, the author who had um, uh, helped us put together this this particular uh, a, a list of demos uh, and uh, we, what we saw is uh, the two demos that we saw within python one is the graph one the other one is the array sorting one so this would help us take this idea and then start building it for any type of algorithm or data structure that we would like to visualize so once again if you like this video please click the like button and share it with your friends and please uh, do not forget to subscribe to our channel that means a lot to me and also if you like this package uh, if you like this extension please open the github uh, repo which we would uh, uh, link in the description let's just below the like button so you should definitely click star because that would encourage the developer uh, to build more stuff and also if you want to financially support the developer you can go here and click the sponsor page that will take you to the preferred way that the developer is uh, looking for a sponsor so you can uh, um, sponsor this package once again thank you so much Henning Dietrich for making this package making this extension and then making it open source um, if you are uh, uh, just a quick uh, update that you can just go here extension and start looking for debug visualizer install it and then take a demo code uh, from here and then start experimenting with this so control shift p and then start look for debug visualizer and you are set i hope this video was helpful if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section and until next video take care of yourself and be safe